and showcasing some of our latest pieces. I have always had Kokeshi in my life. One of my fondest memories, of course, is my mother's collection. My mother is from Hachinohe, Japan, so I am half Japanese. That is one of the northern prefectures in Japan. Um, there are six major ones collectively known as Tohoku, where Kokeshi originate. I always, always wanted to play with them, but she would never let me. And she would say, Lisa, you can study them. And that is exactly what I did. I used to look at their different expressions, their quirky smiles. I'd even notice the little flowers or how our chrysanthemum was so delicately and simply placed on a kimono. It just means the world to me. Working with Jacob, has pushed these boundaries for us. We started about 13 years ago. I hesitate because it was so natural when we came together in our working styles that um, it's kind of hard to put a timeline on it. Jacob does the wood and I do the painting and it is a perfect match um, with different artistic vision and we never know the end result because it's two artists collaborating on the final Kokeshi. When my wife Lisa and I met, we were both already involved in the arts. Working separately, she was a painter, I was a woodworker, carving, and turning. Really inspired by nature, growing up in the forest and spending lots of time in the forest, seeing all these interesting pieces of wood a lot of these pieces of wood didn't lend themselves well to the work that I was doing, but I collected them anyway. When we decided that we were going to start making Kokeshi, it wasn't a focus besides bringing Kokeshi into our home. Having our own collection, like her mother had a collection. As we worked making our small collection, people would come over, we'd show them the other artwork that we were making, and inevitably, everybody would say, well, what about those? We'd tell them about Kokeshi. It became apparent that this is what we were doing that was special and different, and also how much we liked working together. One of the things about being Kokeshi makers is you get to honor a cultural tradition, celebrate the heritage, work together as a couple, um, create new ideas. There are so many fun things, you know, even the reaction of the collectors who identify with the personality is very fun. For us, there is a, you know, always a need and a want to foster traditional crafts and traditional folk art in today's modern times. Um, it creates a more vibrant, engaged society. We love teaching people about the cultural significance of Kokeshi. There are so many aspects, I can't even quite name them all. From the creation, the creation of working on beautiful woods, from the creation of making that funny little smile, or those twinkling eyes, and attaching little bows because the Kokeshi might need some hair accessories. All of that is so rewarding. 
that I guess Kokeshi really make us smile every single day. Even when we're setting up a show, an art show, we start unpacking each Kokeshi and we start to giggle like a lot of customers and collectors do. And because of that, I think we are extremely lucky and honored and feel really great about being Kokeshi makers. Um, really makes us smile every day. This has certainly changed over the years. Did not start at the point we are now. They were more basic, simple and plain. As we progressed, we saw what we liked, what other people liked as well. The burl bodies have always been something that is really magical to me. Lisa's painting, dyeing, texturing, techniques really set off any piece of wood. I also enjoy making the accessories from bows for the hair, hair sticks, all the way to little swords for the samurai that we make occasionally. There is really no part of wood turning or Lisa's artistic process that we can't incorporate. It seems like the possibilities are endless. We really love people's reactions. And I've realized over the years, what we do is really about relationships. For me, it started with my relationship with nature and wood long before I met my wife. That was a lot of the inspiration for woodworking in the first place. I know for Lisa, her relationship with her mother and her mother's collection of Kokeshi, her Japanese heritage, her family being from Tohoku, where Kokeshi are from, that relationship is strong. And then it became about our shared relationship with each other and the art form. There's a lot to learn. We're still learning. But the new thing that really made me understand how special and important this is, or the newest, is the relationship that people have with our work when they see it. People that have never seen our work before oftentimes become emotional. They find connections to family, peace, joy. It really is about bringing peace and prosperity into the home. There's a calming effect, a joyful effect, and as long as we see that reaction, we know we're doing something right. While we're all spending more time at home, I encourage you to follow Asia Store on Facebook and Instagram and visit asiastore.org to get to know more about their designers Browse their online offerings, including our Kokeshi. Be sure to tag Asia Store on social media, hashtag InThisTogether, to show we're all more connected than ever.